All right, today's video, we're gonna go over uh, the high point change of direction with a little variation. This time we're gonna add a two to one mechanical advantage to the load. So it's the same 200 pound load as the previous video. Nothing's changed there. Uh, the only difference is instead of the end knot coming directly to the load, we brought it back up to the anchor plate, which I doubled up. Uh, I would do that with a two person load just for redundancy. Um, and that's gonna terminate at that anchor plate. So we added a 2T to the load, so 200 pounds. On the knot side, each one of those ropes is gonna be 100 pounds each. It is a mechanical advantage because the pulley moves. It's not fixed, so it's not a COD. It actually does move, so it gives us mechanical advantage. So I'm gonna have 100 pounds on the left rope, in theory, and 100 pounds on the right rope. That's going to terminate at the O-ring, or I'm sorry, the uh, anchor plate. So I have the enforcer up there just so we can see what our loads, or calculate our loads. But if that was true, then the 100 pounds would come in, come out of the pulley, 200 pounds. 100 pounds continues through the COD, which is less than 90. So we'll say it's a 1.75 multiplier, say it's around a 60. So that should be 270 pounds of load on the anchor plates, All right? So 100 pounds on the knot side. And then since we have an angle of less than 90, we're gonna call it a 1.75. We're gonna say that that's 175 pounds. So added together is 275. So we're gonna pull on that, see what we get at the tips. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull on it and see what our enforcer at the top COD reads. Go ahead and start pulling slow. 273, 274. So we'll call it 280 at the high point. 280. And our load is off the ground. All right, so now that we verified that attaching a two to one to the high point was going to lessen the forces applied to the tips, if that's AKA an aerial. Um, so like in the previous video, it was around 360, same amount of weight. We had the two to one to it and it dropped it down to 275, uh, 280 around that range. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about our hauling system. So the rope coming down from the COD now technically would have a hundred pounds on it if we continued with our load pad, right? So we have a hundred pounds in this rope here because we have a two to one on our load. So 100 pounds coming down on this load and we attached a three to one mechanical advantage to it. Simple three to one or Z rig, right? With an MPD. So I know I'm gonna lose friction in the, I'm at friction loss in the pulleys and the MPD, but we have another enforcer on here. We're gonna read exactly with 100 pounds of load pulling off it, what it does to our anchor points. And then we're gonna add a five to one complex to it to see if it changes that. And with our tension segments, we're going to increase the amount of tension segments that we have, but decrease what each tension segment is worth in weight. And it's gonna add more to the load, and you'll see that here in a minute. So right now we have a three to one, and if we did our tension segments, we read it right. All right, so there's my three to one. My one comes in, my one comes out, puts two here, right? The one travels down, comes in, comes out, puts a two T on my MPD. My one continues out, travels up, hits my two, turns this into a three. So I have a three to one mechanical advantage system, one moving pulley. So this has a two T on it, right? So when I pull this, each tension segment is gonna be the load divided by the ratio on my mechanical advantage. So I have a hundred pounds of load coming off this rope. I have a 200 pound load, but remember we've already broke it down to a two to one. So I have a hundred pound load here. Each tension segment is gonna be worth 33.333 pounds. Let's call it 34. So I'll have 34 pounds times 2T. So I should have roughly 68 pounds of tension on my MPD. Now that's not including the friction loss in the pulleys. So, you know, I'm gonna have a little bit more than that, give or take, you know, 10 pounds or so. We're gonna go ahead and pull uh, lightly on it and see what we get, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and pull on it. You notice how it dropped in weight once we overcame the gravity. So 68, we'll call it 68. All right, good. So 68 pounds on our anchor once we start hauling the three to one. All right, and what did we say, was it 64? So yeah, so we lost a little bit of efficiency in the pulleys, but you noticed at rest, 
we're up in the 100 mark, like we said we were. But when we hauled, we overcame the gravity with our haul system and it dropped the load on our anchor. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Now, we're going to go ahead and put a five to one complex on it. And many think that the five to one complex is better for our equipment, right? Because we're lowering our tension segments, we're adding more tension segments, more of them, but we're lowering what each tension segment's worth, right? We're gonna go ahead and put, uh, put the five to one complex on here, do our tension segments, and then we're gonna read what our load is at our anchor. All right, so now we added the five to one complex system on it. We have two pulleys that move and they're gonna to come together as we haul. So we call that a complex system. All right, and let's do our tension seconds real quick just to verify what we have. So we have one rope coming in, one rope coming out here. Puts two units of tension on this that travel up to this carabiner. Once I hit this gibbs, it's gonna be, I'm gonna add two to it. One comes down, one comes out of this pulley, right? Puts two T here. Very good. So when my one comes down, hits my two previously, turns this into a three. So I have three in, three out. Now I have six units of tension on my MPD. That's gonna be important here in a minute, okay? So six on my MPD. My three comes out of my MPD, comes up and hits my two that I previously had and makes this a five to one. So I have a five to one complex system. All right, we verified that. Now, going back to the MPD, my tension segments now are six on my anchor. They were two previously, now they're six. I'm taking the same 100 pounds, I'm dividing it by five, it gives me 20, right? So I'm gonna multiply that 20 by my tension segments, which are six, that should have 120 pounds of tension on my anchor. So previously we, we dropped, when we did it, we tested it, we dropped down to like 68, but I, it's gonna be easier for me to pull with a five to one, but I'm adding more weight or load to my anchor. I'm gonna prove it right now. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and pull on this. Remember, we're gonna have some efficiency loss in the pulleys, but we're gonna assume, we're gonna think that this is gonna be over 120 this time, with even with our five to one. All right, so let's go ahead and pull on it. And there we go. Nice and slow in line with it. So 152, all right, good. So by adding, right, mechanical advantage, in the form of a complex, we significantly added load to our anchor. All right, so something to think about. Everybody thinks the five to one complex to the three to one is a better solution when you're using the MPD, but you just have to be careful because you're gonna compound the forces on the anchor, which we just showed you. All right, last one we're gonna do is going to be the nine to one. So we're gonna do a nine to one compound system all right, changes from a complex to a compound, and let's see what happens to our anchor from there. Like, we haven't changed anything on our high point. That's still the same 200 pound load, same angle, nothing's changed, all right? Everything's happening, everything that we're changing is happening down here. All right, so this is our compound nine to one. We still have two moving pulleys, but this time when we haul, the pulleys will be moving in the same direction. All right, so the forces are gonna be compounded on top of each other, multiplied. So real quick, let's verify what system we built. We're gonna use the Beckett off of the MPD this time. I usually don't like using that, but um, we're gonna use it and uh, we'll go over what the 10 seconds on there as well. So my haul line is here. So I have one in, right? One unit of tension comes out, puts two on my pulley, two travels up over to the cam, right? But when I hit that again, I'm gonna add two. It's still a one. So one comes out, right? Or comes into this pulley, comes out, puts a two T here. 2T to the Beckett. My one travels down, hits my cam, which was originally a two. So now I have a three. So a three on this side of the cam. So my three comes in, my three comes out, puts six units of tension on this pulley, which travels up. And next time I hit this will be a, whatever it is, plus six. Okay. Everybody's good with that so far. So my six comes, my three comes in or it comes back down. Travel, 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 travel. I'm not gonna add it to the Beckett because it's not attached. It goes into my MPD, comes out of my MPD as a three, so puts six units of tension here. So all together, I have eight units of tension on my anchor or my MPD. So my three continues to travel down the rope. Here it comes and it hits my, my six that we had off of this one and turns this into a nine. So I have a nine to one compound system. All right, so we, go ahead, we went in and built our nine to one compound system. 
We still have the 100 pounds of load that we're dividing our uh, mechanical advantage ratio into. So since it's a nine to one, we're gonna divide 100 by nine. We're looking at 11.11 .11 or so. So we'll say, uh, you know, we'll keep round it to, we'll just keep it at 11 for now. We know it's gonna be a little bit bigger than that. All right, somewhere between 11 and 12, right? So we have efficiency loss in the pulleys that we're not counting for at this moment. So if that is true, and we have two T on our Beckett, six T on our MPD, that's an eight T total. We should have around 88 pounds on our enforcer. All right, if that's true, uh, we know that we said we're gonna gain a little, we're gonna lose a little bit of efficiency in the pulley, so it's gonna add a little bit of weight to our anchor point. So we're assuming that we're gonna be in the 90s somewhere. So let's go ahead and pull it and see what we get. So we're at a haul and we're at 96, 98. So we'll call it 98. All right. Well, I hope that video helps you guys. Let me know if you uh, have any comments. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.